Well, to follow up, um, Kaminga apparently had some thoughts. Any heart-to-hearts between you and him between then and now headed into this matchup or coaching perspective to give as a response to his apparent thoughts? Uh, we talked. Um, you know, Obviously, those things are better um, discussed behind the scenes. Anytime um, something like that goes public, um, then it creates, um, you know, a distraction. And, and um, I think, you know, it, it's important for all of our guys. And I talked to our whole team about it. And it's like, if, you know, you got, you got an issue, I'm here. You know, I am the most accessible coach uh, in the league probably. My door is always open. And uh, I have players all the time come talk to me. Um, and I encourage it. And it's um, – It's a difficult situation because every player um, naturally has his own goals, his own dreams. Um, Everybody wants to flourish. Everybody wants to blossom. Um, And we have um, a lot of guys who are capable of playing, and I have very difficult decisions to make each and every night. J.K. is a young player who's growing. He's getting better. That's why he's he's been in the starting lineup. Um, And, um, you know, he will continue to grow. And uh, this is all part of his growth then you kind of mentioned it was a it was a Wiggins Kaminga choice last night I know you've talked about you know trying to find combinations where they work together where are you on that because I know you've you've sprinkled some out there but it's still yeah I mean we we would still like to but we're obviously every game is tight and we're trying to to win every game and and um, you know we want to put ourselves in a a great position playoff wise so um, that's it's one of the the challenges of this season really is is um, we're exploring combinations, but at the same time trying to win. And so we don't have, uh, you know, a long time to explore if something's not going well. And um, at this point, we're, you know, our closing lineups have been different um, often uh, night after night. And uh, so we haven't been able to kind of find that one five man group that we're uh, just automatically going to go to. And that that makes it tricky, tricky for the players and, and tricky for the staff, too. Coach, at this point, this deep into the season, as you're continuing to hammer out your rotation, um, playing as many guys as you are, does that creep into your mind at all that guys maybe won't be completely happy with the minutes they're seeing in their roles and that something will make its way into public? Does, do you think about that at all? Yeah, I played for 15 years, and if all 15, I was frustrated with my playing time. So <laughs> this is how it works. Um, this is the most competitive, uh, lucrative league in the world. Um, every team has, you know, 15 to 17 guys who are all dying to play. Um, everyone's frustrated. And so a big part of uh, being successful in this league is learning how to navigate that frustration, learning how to just constantly put yourself in a position uh, to succeed. Uh, and. You know, as you grow, as you get better, the the, the more talent the guys have, uh, the more chance they have of, of really blossoming, especially if they're you know handling their business. And that's all part of the modern NBA is teaching uh, a lot of young guys, um, you know, how this how this has to work.